Good morning. It is 1 a.m. and I'm tired. Eight and a half more hours to go. I am just waiting. Oh, my computer screen is really dusty. I'm just waiting for the person to join my meeting and then we'll see what happens. By the way, it's day 14. Okay, it's 1.09 a.m. and she was supposed to be on by one. So I think maybe she forgot about the meeting. But that might mean that I can nap before my next class at 3 a.m. Good morning, it is 8.15. I should have started my class at eight, but my professor, I think, is probably wrapping up his last lesson. It has been rough. I've had a couple of mini naps already and it's been a long night. I don't even know if I'm gonna actually sleep once I finish this lesson, if I'll be able to sleep, but I've had a couple of naps and I'm very tired today. It is 9.30 and I just finished my lesson and I feel a little bit more energized, which is good. And here is today's breakfast. So we have pancakes, hash browns and salad and tea and coffee and community. spaghetti and some kind of a veggie and oh there's mushrooms uh, with some more veggies and kumquat juice, mandarin lemon juice and community. By the way a little update on the 1am meeting. I was gonna go for a nap but just as I laid down on my bed the person emailed me and said hey are you still able to meet? Sorry that I was running late. So I still had the meeting but I did manage to catch a little nap after that. It is almost 7 p.m. and I just woke up from a five hour long nap, which I think probably substitutes my sleep last night, um, but I feel more refreshed now. I'm just hoping I can still go to bed at a somewhat normal time tonight because I'm teaching early in the morning tomorrow. Um, so let's take a look at what is for dinner. We have some vegetables. I think that's, yeah, that's some kind of a mushroom plus carrots. So more vegetables and rice. Bye bye. So my aunt just brought this over. This is pan fried tofu with some veggies and some eggplant. And I'm actually extra excited for this because I wasn't the biggest fan of tonight's dinner. I still ate it, but it was a little bit on the bland side, so I didn't have too much of it, so I'm extra excited. So the hotel is actually quite efficient from when my aunt drops it off to when I get it. It's only about five to eight minutes um, like time difference, so it actually, like they're pretty quick at it. You know, the food's always still warm or even hot when I get it, um, and that's considering the short walk that my aunt takes. So, you know, I'm really happy. The topic of location today was creativity. So I actually don't consider myself a creative person. I feel like a lot of people when they uh, know that I'm a musician or that I practice music that 
Um, they assume that I'm creative, but I'm actually not very creative in terms of creating music or composing. Um, but I do think that um, I, I even just me being here in Hong Kong, I have had to be a little bit creative. So one of my main concerns when considering if I should come to Hong Kong, especially for so long, um, especially when school is still going on, is how I would be able to manage all my commitments, especially my uh, percussion lessons with my professor. Um, and so I actually contacted uh, someone locally who runs a percussion studio and a percussion practice. And I was able to ask if I was if I'd be able to practice, you know, at their place. Um, and they they were very kind about it. And they said, yeah, like definitely. And it just so happens that their studio is actually close to this area, so it works out really well. Um, but yeah, you know, I've had to think of different solutions, um, you know, to, to some of these issues. Of course, I can't change my synchronous class times, and I still need to attend to all my commitments. But at least I get to be in Hong Kong while doing that and spend some time with my family. Um, another way that I think I am creative is with my ministry. So with Awana, um, which is our children's program online, normally we would meet in person, but because of COVID, everything is done online. And so it's been a little bit tougher to bond with the children because we're unable to see each other and interact um, that way. But um, I've actually done a couple of different show and tell ideas with the kids where we would take a couple of minutes each day and they get to share something with me. Sometimes it's a stuffed animal, sometimes it's what their desk looks like. And I think that's just a good way to bond with the kids. And we also do a secret handshake. I think I forgot to do a secret handshake this past week. I'll do it next time. Um, but I do a little secret handshake at the end of each each um, Awana session. So obviously it's still through Zoom. So sometimes, um, you know, some kids choose to do a high 10 or some of them, you know, will do a heart or whatever it is. Um, but it's just a nice way to bond with the kids. Um, and, you know, especially since everything is on Zoom and we're unable to have that face-to-face -face contact. The second prompt of creativity was to be more creative or think of different areas where you can be creative. So for me, I think my interest and my love for music will kind of remain as, you know, a practice practicing music and also um, I love learning and researching so I think for music it'll stay that way but I am interested in um, thinking of my own choreo for some of the Zumba and the dance routines that I do I love following the routines that um, my instructors do um, I think their routines are really fun but I think it'd be also kind of fun to try coming up with my own choreo just for fun to see what I can come up with just to try something new and so the prompt for today was actually um, for the practical tip was to take a rest day and it said try a social media break um, Replacing it with a little spa or meditation So because I'm doing this video so late and also I think you know because I am Trying to stay connected with my friends. I don't think I will be doing a social media break But um, I am planning to unwind after editing tonight's video. I have my tea ready I'm gonna watch some Netflix and then call it an earlier night. It's just past nine actually right now um, So thank you for watching today's vlog. I know that it was a little bit less fun interesting especially after yesterday's crazy mukbang uh, but thank you still for watching it and today was a lighter day and I'm hoping tomorrow will be a little bit more productive But um, yeah learning to have grace for myself as well So thank you again for watching and I will see you tomorrow for day 15. We're getting close only five to six days left. Good night